fear grips APC, Tinumbu's camp ahead of 2023 election. Major stakeholders in the ruling of Progressive Congress, APC, are currently in confusion and fear over the loss recorded by the party in the just concluded governorship election in Oshun State. The Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, declares Senator Ademola Adeliki, the candidate of the People's Democratic Party, the winner of the Oshun governorship election, in a keenly contested exercise which was adjudged free and fair by local and foreign observers. Professor Olua Tony Ogundipe, the returning officer of the election and vice chancellor of the University of Lagos, you announced that Adelike got a total of 403,371 votes, beating the incumbent Adegbo Oyotola of the APC, who got 375 and 27 votes. He said that declare Adelike Ademola Jackson Nurudin on behalf of the INEC chairman as meeting the requirement of the law hereby declare winner and return elected. According to the total vote recorded by the electoral umpire, the PDP won 17 out of the 13, 30 local government areas of the state, while the APC won in the remaining 13. The PDP won in Ede, North, Ede, South, Ifelo, Dumbulu, Waduru, Ebe, Dore, Odo, Ote, Ushubu, Ela, Atakumosa, Oloronda, Elisha, Obokun, Oriade, Orolu, Ife, North, Ife, Repodon, and Ejibus, local government. The APC, on the other hand, won in Boripe, Elisha East, Ayedari, Ife, Dayo, Ife, Centra, Ayedade, Iwo, Olalu, and Shokan, Atakumosa. Ere Luwale, if a South and if a East local government. The loss of the APC in Oshun is coming at the time the party struggling to convince Nigeria as its choice of Muslim Muslim presidential ticket, which has yet met with widespread criticism from Nigerians. Loyalists of Tinumbu, who were shocked by the outcome of the election, declined to speak on the issues, saying they are with the party's position. There is no point waiting for any party position. We have lost this election, and one of the reasons that I personally will attribute to the loss of APC in Oshun is the way the house divided against itself can never stand. They have been fighting themselves since Oyatola got into position of authority as governor until the election they were not able to resolve it. So for over four years, for four years, they have been internal wrangling, they have been fighting, moving from one political party to the other, Alec Boshola with the governor and his lieutenants here and there moving. This is one of the issues. Then the state is like the look at look. Even when Alec Boshola was a governor and there was a, to be an election, the first instance, Adeleke defeated them. And so people saying that yes, but because Alec Boshola left, that was why they were able to defeat him this time. When he was going on to the rerun or whatever, he even defeated them in the first instance by just 500 less than 600 votes. To become the governor. So I like I mean Ladeleke has come back to claim the people that yes is the people's choice. And that is what has happened. It is for them to go back, re strategize, and begin to look at what where they are and what they can do differently. Otherwise, the thing has been taken over and it has been taken over. And the future is their 2023 presidential election. If they don't put their hands together, ADP may still get a short state. Loyalists of Tinumbu were shocked. They don't need to be shocked. Some of the APC chieftain who spoke with daily independence on condition of anonymity, say, anonymity said the outcome of the election is a bad signal considering the fact that Oshun is one of the state in the southwest where the party's presidential candidate Ashraj Bola Ahmed Tinumbu enjoys popularity and Oyatola his nephew is the governor, a chieftain of the party who is a member of the southwest agenda for Ashraj Swaga said they were shocked at the outcome of the election, especially given the fact that the governor has performed well so far. I must tell you that we are shocked by the outcome of the election. We all believe that we win, especially given the fact that Ujitola performed well. However, we have learned our lessons, and I believe that this will not in any way affect the chances of Ashwajibola and Tinumbu in presidential election. 
On this part, Governor Yotola said he has taken cognizance of the result of the governorship election in the state as announced by INEC, saying he's studying the outcome. In a statement issued by his media aide, Ismaila Omikpidon, on Sunday, Yotola said his supporters to remain calm and all security operatives to ensure there's no breakdown of law and order across the state. There can't be any breakdown of law and order. The people have spoken and they have spoken them also is across. There is no one that is not about religion, it's not about anything. Yes, whatever happened, the people's choice have been made to manifest. So there's no way there will be breach of law and order. He however noted that the party will be responding appropriately after certain results and consulting with critical stakeholders of the party. I'm calling on all our supporters to remain calm and the people of the state to go about their business without let or hindrances. I also urge security operators to ensure maintenance of law and order to prevent breakdown of law and order. Well, my listeners, do you think that these laws for APC will affect Tinubu come 2023 presidential election? Will this way the people of the South were to vote for him or will this win by PDP? For them to lose or should come 2023. Kindly make your opinion known as you subscribe to my pretend to good day and see you very soon.